Hi everyone, welcome back to my series that I'm working on and this is for the Faded Rose Kit coming soon to Ooh La La. I'm creating the packaging right now and I have already created one of the items for this kit and this is what it looks like. I showed in a previous video, this is the matchbook. paper in it. So fun. So we put this together on the last video and now we're going to do the packaging. So the packaging I have for you is this right here. I posted on Instagram and I thank you guys so much for going and liking it on Instagram. I appreciate your support as well as um, in my group. So I used again this recycled packaging, which is these gauze pads that you can pick up probably at you know your different shopping places that you go. Um, but I did pick mine up at the thrift store, so this is why I'm using them so much because I got a variety pack of different sizes. And so I thought they'd be fun because they have this kind of glassine feel to them and they're not real flimsy. So they don't need a lot of coverage on them to use them as a pocket just went around and I just trimmed around the edges a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and just start with our sewing paper this is one of the pages that I picked to use I'm just folding it in half and I'm just gonna add it to the, the front and the back okay so we're just gonna use our tacky glue and I'm gonna glue it on where the image is closer over here make sure have a little edge right here but I'm going to be covering that up so that won't show. I'm trying to get it to where you don't see this part here either but that will be covered up so I just like this little corner right here okay so let's go ahead and we're going to glue it down. I hope you all are having a good day or night wherever you are. I have been having so much fun creating in my craft space in my previous video, I shared that I am crafting at my daughter's house. She's never here. Very quiet here. Just a little bit of traffic, but not too bad. And so I have just been crafting away over here. I have a lot of boxes to unpack. But I wanted to play and make this kit. This was what inspired me, so that's where it's taking me right now. So you're just going to cover it up with your glue. I got my bone folder here. Just to make sure the glue is down. And then I'm just going to trim this off. It's okay if you have a little bit hanging off the edge too. It's not going to really matter. You won't see it. So we have this so far. I think what I want to do is I I am going to cover that up. Let's see. I'll just use this right here. I'm going to glue over the top of that. It's funny because I'm thinking about the fact that right here where it lifts up <laughs> that you can see it so I don't want you to be able to see that part not showing there <laughs> that's just how I do things and you're really not going to see much of it but I'm going to try and patch that a little bit here. Put some more glue down. 
That looks better to me. This is when the perfection comes in, you guys. This type of stuff right here. When the little piece is showing and you can't stand it. I gotta cover it up. Okay. So I'm not gonna cover the back yet, but this is the pocket now. It's nice and sturdy too. So either way, this time I covered it on this side and then I used this side, so I definitely have to cover the back. But if you didn't want to cover both sides, you could just use the white part. Let me go ahead and ink that up real quick here. It's even shaped like a pocket, too. That's what I thought was really cute. I didn't realize they were all shaped like that. Okay. So here's what we have so far. The pocket's all done on the front. Oops. Let me fix my camera. Okay. So now what we have is... Let me find where I put it. This is what I want to use for my base. You can use tissue paper, you can use paper, anything that you can crunch and add glue to would make a great base. So that's what I'm going to do to go right here on the, um, this right here. So for that, I'm going to use my fabric tac I find that the fabric tac or the Beacon 3-in-1 works really great. I have a couple of tutorials that I did using different elements on the front um, with paper. I'll link those uh, videos below in case you didn't get to see that video. They're pretty fun to play around with and this is just a brown coffee filter that I wet and then I let it dry and this is the effect that you get. It's really cool. Adding the glue, the Fabri-Tac glue, for some reason this clear glue works really well, um, better than other types of glue. So I just kind of stick with that. And then you just crunch it up how you need to. I think I'm going to have that hang down a little bit there. So you just play around with it till you you get what you like there and I'm pretty pleased with that the image that I'm going to use this time I use this sewing machine this time I'm going to use this double sewing machine so each one that I do there'll be about seven or eight different of the same one and then I'll have a different image so how I list them in the shop will probably be with the image that's on the cover so that you could see what you're getting So let's see, I need some cheesecloth for this. So what I like to do on here, I like to put my cheesecloth in the corner. I'm just gonna put some in the corner here. I just want it hanging out just a little bit, not a lot. Okay. 
need a little bit more on the sides here. I don't know why sometimes I just uh, I don't even put it on the whole thing. I just put it on part of it. But you can do however you want to do it. This is just how I do it. I find that it gives it kind of a different texture when you separate the pieces a little bit. See how it gives it more wispiness there? Then you can cut off what you need to. Okay. I always like to do mine at a little bit of an angle. pretty good and then we're just going to um, embellish it a little bit so let me show you I've got this um, this trim here tea dye it's a satin trim it's really pretty and we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna um, put it in the corner like right here Now the trims may be a little bit different, so when you're creating this for yourself, you know you can add different things, but this may remind you of some of the things you have in your stash over, over in your craft space or your craft room, um, wherever you do your crafting. And here's a bow. This is made out of some chiffon material. I just tied it in a bow. I'm going to add that to the top. I love this pink material too. It just adds the pretty little fluff that you need to your project. And then a little rosette. In that corner. Then we're going to go ahead and add some more trim to the other side. Now this side, I want to put a little bit extra. So I'm just going to put a tiny piece of this in the corner here. covering up some of the flowers but I like these different layers added so they make it more fun to add different layers to your projects okay and then I have this other trim Let's see if I can find it I have a 
bowl of trim over here that I've been using and I wanted to show you what I do. So I have my candle. I've been burning my candle for the series the whole time. These are from um, Home Goods. It came like this. It's in the fall section, but look at this pretty pink. It's this really pretty soft pink. And this is the maker. I'm trying to see, I can't see that. And it's 24 pieces. Sweet apple. Smells delicious and is for $5.99. So if you get a chance to get some of these, they are so fun to have in your craft room or just to relax and watch the candle burn. So what I've been doing is I have been taking this material right here and I've been making um, like a little trim kind of. So what I did here, you can't really see it, but it's right here on the edge. Under so I was playing around with it and I don't know if it's gonna do it now because it's over the flame. Hold on a second. I was playing with this fabric and I was burning it. You see how it's burning the fabric? And what, it, what it's doing is, this is how you make your flowers. So I was playing with it one day and I just wanted to give my project some texture. So I went ahead and made up a bunch of these. So really all you're doing is having it over the flame lightly until it gives it that texture like you would if you were burning flowers or making the flowers. So this is what you do if you want to get some more. I have this, um, it's curling it just like you would if you were making your flowers. So I'm just making my fabric to be having some texture. And it's fun. It's fun to play in the candle. So you get something like this when you're done. This really cool ripple effect. So that's going to go right here. And I just love burning fabric anyways. This is like a synthetic fabric so it, it will take to the to the flame really well. You see how it gives it the bumpy kind of look texture? That's how I get that look. And then I'm going to add another rosette. So that just fills in the gap between the two with the flower. And then I have a little applique I want to use. One of my favorite appliques. This one is tea dyed. to kind of stick down there. Sometimes a pearl comes out too. So we have something like that now. I love all the textures. So I have this pink tatting on a garment pin with this sweet little crown here. I made two little beads on a little head pin here and then I added this rhinestone. So this is going to go on the front. And it'll go on the cover here. 
can go in here, you can go in the top, wherever. It will hold it. Let's see if that'll hold it. Yeah. So that is the pocket. Super cute. I like how it came out. This one here, I made the coffee filter go over the edge a little bit. This one here is a little shorter. So of course each one will be different. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cover over the back of this with some paper. Let's see if I have any more paper here. I might not have any more. Got this one I could use. I kind of ripped that paper a little bit off. It's just gonna go on the back, so I'm just gonna glue it down. And my glue. Hold on, I left the glue off again. Get all of it in there. And then we'll just cut around that. our pocketing good there. I just need to cut this down. Let's see. And all we need is a little bit more ink. We should be able to call that done. So there you have it. So this is the Faded Rose Pocket. I will be making a packaging, maybe we'll do that right now as we're sitting here. I can probably come up with something. But anyway, this is what the packaging will look like. That's the other one I made. That's this one. This is the one we made on the other video. Probably going to be a two-part video, you guys because um, putting this together takes a little bit of time. So as I showed you that one, and this is the one I started making that we didn't decorate yet. So yeah, you guys get out your book pages and um, your if you have any glassine bags or make your own bags, if you wanna do that, you definitely can do that with your own bags.